Hi everyone, my name is Dana. You might know me as Foot Doc Dana and I get sent a bunch of crazy medical TikToks. So today we're going to react to them. Should I start out with the obvious? Tanning beds are horrible for you. They prematurely age your skin and they greatly increase your risk of skin cancer. Okay, back to the original question. Do tanning beds whiten your teeth? On the one hand, you could argue that they do because if your surrounding skin is darker, your teeth will start to look whiter by comparison. But they do not actually whiten your teeth at all. And the reason is for light to actually whiten teeth, you need to have a agent like hydrogen peroxide on the teeth. Because what happens is the light itself does not cause teeth whitening, but it accelerates the oxidative reaction that occurs with hydrogen peroxide teeth whitening. In between pedicures, you can do this. Take lime where your callus is, take your file, and voila, take a look at that. If you have mild foot calluses, instead of rubbing a lime on it, which risks irritation, find a cream that contains urea and use that every day, as well as a gentle puma stone in the shower. Okay, good technique. So this condition's called Onico. You're using fucking pliers to cut somebody's toenails off. You know it's bad when the doctor's gripping up your fucking foot, shaking to get your goddamn nail off. They look like they smell like Parmesan cheese. If, if they were to smell like a cheese, it would most definitely be Parmesan. So a lot of people actually have to go to a medical professional every couple months specifically to get their nails treated like this because they're obviously not able to cut their own nails at home. I've seen much worse than this. When nails get really long, they can start to curl down and that's called onychogryphosis because it's curled like a ram's horn. Hello there. Hello. This is called lymphedema. It happens when there's damage to the lymphatic system, which is responsible for draining fluid from the extremity. It can be a very debilitating condition and affect day-to-day -day life. I'm glad this guy is able to find some humor in it and make a funny video though. Hey guys, so one thing you might not know about me is that I have incredibly stretchy skin. Um, it's because of some weird condition and I thought I'd make a video on it because people keep saying I'm lying on my live stream. This is probably Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, aka EDS. It's present in about 1 in 5,000 people worldwide. This hyperflexibility is classic. Wow, this is a tattoo close up. It passes the epidermis and the dermis and deposits the ink deep in the skin for that everlasting tattoo. Contrary to popular belief, hydrogen peroxide is actually not the best thing to put on wounds. It's way too harsh. However, hydrogen peroxide is fantastic for getting blood off of clothing. This is an example of classic dry gangrene. You can see the sharp transition from normal skin to devitalized skin that doesn't have any blood perfusion left. That's the black part. Never mind. You can see that it's clay. Now, this person is very, very skilled. Oh, oh, oh. oh fine. Oh, fine. This sudden, sharp chest pain is really scary, but not all chest pain comes from the heart. Something called precordial catch syndrome is pain from when nerves in the front of the chest are aggravated. It lasts from a few seconds to a few minutes, and it's made worse by breathing in deeply. It happens most frequently in young people. And this is not life-threatening. Follow me for more videos daily. 